Hello my brothers and sisters, I want to bring you guys this video. Uh, I made a video today earlier, <clears throat> but I want to tell you guys that, and this is the message I want to tell you guys, Trump is not of God. Don't be deceived by this man. Look, this is what the Lord told me. The masses will be the solution. The masses will be the solution. There's so many people following Trump. It's ridiculous. Even brothers and sisters in the Lord. But anyways, I'm not, I don't want to get into that. What I want to tell you guys is this. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ with your mind, with your body. Don't be removed. Don't be moved by the ways of deception that we're experiencing right now. The body of Christ is experiencing a lot of waves of deception. Many people are being seduced by the waves of charismatic movements. You know, all this charismatic movement that Trump has with this uh, group of people. And everybody's like happy and cheering and, oh, you know, thanks God that, you know, listen, God lets things happen for a reason. This nation, listen, my brothers and sisters, this nation that we live in today, the United States of America, this nation hasn't truly repented. There were a thousand quote unquote Christians in a, um, uh, in New York, cheering and saying, you know, this nation, this city belongs to God. But this nation has repented. God is not calling the righteous. God is calling sinners into repentance. People are unwilling to repent. People are unwilling to repent. You know, God is going to judge this nation either ways. This nation hasn't changed. Be not deceived by this Trump. This man is an ungodly God hater, Jesus Christ says in the scripture, this is what the Lord says, my friends. Jesus said in the scripture, if you're not with me, you are against me. Trump is against Jesus Christ. Trump does not know God. Trump does not have the Holy Spirit of God. Don't follow Trump. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be disillusioned when you find out that Obama is going to stay for a third time. It's going to happen. Obama is still in office. Obama is the president. Obama has to leave office by January 20th, the 20th. And it's not going to happen. You want to know why? Because God moved. God moved with the spirit in all of his sons and daughters, many of us. And he gave us these dreams and visions. Many of them prophetic dreams and visions. And Obama, his face changes into evil. Obama, he changes into, into someone, into a military person, into someone who's going to collect the forces of this nation. It's going to cause wars and it's going to cause destruction. That's what many brothers and sisters have dreamed about Obama. That Obama is trying to control many people. That Obama is trying to go after the church of Jesus Christ. This is the same man that bought 30,000 guillotines. You can look it up online. This is the same man that says that Christians, if you preach and if you offend someone, offend someone you are going to be automatically called a hater, a bigot, or a terrorist. This is the same man that has passed many lives that if there's a natural disaster or in terms of war, he's going to stay in power. It's all being set up. Can you not see it? Trump is not going to be the president. Trump is not going to stay here. Trump is not going to stay here, my friends. <laughs> Trump is an ungodly, God-hater, rich man, idolatrous, liar, fornicator, adulterous man. He's a clown, a deceiver, and a liar. If you watch this video, he was signed, he was giving, he was flashing the 666 sign. Many times, because it's all according to their agenda. They want to disillusion the masses so that people can be led astray. And then when the dark figure comes in, they're going to follow him. Today, you can see two groups. You can see the righteous group, which is not saved. Those who are trying to, vote to, to follow Trump. And this is the typical oh, 4, 4 of July American that sits on, a, on one of those oh, $35 uh, chairs that they sell at Walmart with a beer on his hand, getting drunk with a hat on him. And he has, you know, welcome 2017. This is basically the typical Americans that are following Trump. You are of the body of Christ. You belong to the bride of Jesus Christ. You belong to the redeemed. Don't be caught up. There are three groups in this world. The wicked. 
the righteous sinner and the redeemed. There's another group that condemned. But those we don't talk about those. They're dead. The wicked, the righteous sinner, and the redeemed. The Bible says, knowing this, if the righteous scarcely is saved, what shall happen to the ungodly? And the sinner, what shall they land? For the judgment of God shall start at the house of God. What, what will it be to the ungodly and the sinner if the righteous is scarcely saved? Don't be deceived by this wave of, of happiness, fake happiness, and charismatic joy and all these embraces of Trump. Don't be deceived by this. It's all a hoax. It's all a lie. Be in the Spirit of God. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ.